Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins with various MMA matches taking place. In the locker rooms, there are three young guys waiting for their turn to fight. A fourth guy arrives, and there is some tension among the guys. A man calls the name Stokes, and one of the four guys, Mike answers as it is his turn. The scene then shifts, and we are sequentially introduced to our four fighters. First up, Mike Stokes gets dropped off at college by his dad, whom he doesn't get along with for some reason. He meets his roommate Kurt, who seems like a decent guy. Next, we get introduced to Zach, who is a boxer. As he is training, his trainer talks about an upcoming fight, but that they've arranged a sub for him. But Zach's trainer thinks it's a bad idea, because they don't know anything about this Ortega. But Zach is confident and agrees. Next, there is Tim, who works odd jobs and goes to college, while his mom struggles to pay the bills after his dad died. Finally, we meet Justin Epstein, who is a comic book store clerk and a geek. A girl comes in to trade off some comic books and he asks her out, but she tells him that it is never going to happen. Later, Mike is looking at the college website, which has been hacked by someone, to show a countdown for something known as the breakdown. Kurt wants him to go out with him and enjoy being a college freshman, but Mike resists. Kurt convinces him to tell him what's up, and Mike agrees, swearing Kurt to secrecy. We then see them going to a typical college party, where there is dancing drinking and sex. There, Kurt challenges Mike to pick up a girl, whom Mike immediately gets infatuated with. He goes to ask her out, but she tells him that she already has a boyfriend. The next scene shows us Zach, in a boxing match against Ortega, and getting badly beaten up. His one eye is swollen shut, and he gets knocked out on his back. We then go to Justin, who is walking home one night, and spots two people training. He continues walking, but is attacked by some bullies, who seem out to get him for some reason. He tries to fight back, but is outnumbered. The bullies manage to beat him up, but he makes a run for it. He runs to the guys he saw earlier, one of whom is Tim. The other is an older black guy, and the two of them scare off Justin's bullies. One day, Mike is asked to go see the resident advisor, Max Cooperman. Mike is a wrestler, and Max has called him to talk, because he wants fighters for his illegal MMA tournament, the breakdown. It will happen in a hundred days and the winner will get 10 grand. Mike says he'll think about it. In the next scene, Zach's doctor tells him, that the injuries he's received to his head have affected the retina of his left eye, and he can't continue his career as a boxer, otherwise he will go blind. Zach is extremely distraught over this news. As he walks out of the doctor's room, he passes the receptionist and overhears about the breakdown. The scene changes to Tim, who returns home to see that his siblings are alone at home, and watching some inappropriate music videos on TV. He asks them where their mom is, and goes to visit her at a strip club. It turns out that she has taken a waitressing job there, and when Tim tries to protest, she tells him to go home. Next, during gym, Mike is wrestling with a guy, but gets taunted about his dad leaving his mother for another guy. This pisses him off, and he starts beating up the dude. Others break up the fight, but in his anger, Mike punches the coach and gets kicked out of the gym. Mike and Zach cross paths outside Max's dorm. They knock on the door, and tell Max that they want to take part. Max asks Zach how he found him, and he tells him that he found him through the comments in the videos, as Max is semi-famous. Max asks them if they have any experience with MMA, and gets to know about Zach's boxing and Mike's wrestling. He then asks them to show him some moves. He tells them to stop, saying that they both have passion, but they need a well-seasoned veteran to teach them. He points them in the direction of Case Walker, saying that if he takes them on, a day with him is like a month with anyone else. The two of them go pay Case a visit. Case is very buff and obviously very experienced. We also see Tim training in the background, and Justin has also been taken under Case's wing. When Mike introduces himself and Zach, Case asks them why he should train them. They tell him that they want to take part in the breakdown, and Max told them about him. Case gets annoyed and calls Max a Dana White wannabe. He tells them to tell Max, that next time he sends bitches his way, there will be trouble. Zach begins to walk away, but Mike stands his ground, saying that he's no bitch. Case gives them a thorough once-over, and says that he can see they have heart. He also figures out that Mike wrestles and Zach is a boxer. He tells them he will train them, and in return, needs them to pay him in blood sweat and money. He asks Tim to do some sprawls and kicks with Zach, and gives Mike a special task. He tapes a piece of paper on a string, and demonstrates a punching technique with which he makes a hole in the center of the paper. He tells Mike to keep doing it until he gets the technique. There is then a montage of Tim and Zach training, while Case trains Justin. In the background, 
Mike continuously fails to make a hole in the paper. Some hours later, Case tells him to go home and return tomorrow. We see the guys continuously practice in one way or the other, Justin reads up during his job, and Tim also teaches his younger siblings. Mike walks around campus trying to get the punch technique right, and gets funny looks from the girl he tried to hit on during the party. The four guys keep up their training. One day, they're waiting for Case to join them, when some friction causes tension among the group. Zach insults Justin's mother, which Case overhears. He calls out to Justin for letting Zach insult his mother, and tells him to show him a move called the Flounder 3. The other guys wonder what that is, when suddenly Justin picks up Zach and throws him to the ground. The guys break up Zach and Justin, as Max arrives. He goes to see Case. He proposes that Case fight people at the bar, and create hype for the upcoming tournament. Case, who needs money, agrees. That night, the four guys watch Case beat guy after guy, who need to make it through a minute to get a hundred bucks, but Case doesn't let them. Zach's girlfriend arrives, who is the same girl from the party. She asks Mike how he's doing after his dad left his mom for another dude, and the other guys snicker. Angered, Mike goes to fight Case. Case tells him not to, and gets him in a hold, telling him to tap, otherwise he'll break his arm, but Mike doesn't listen. The next day, two cops arrive at Case's place and figure that he's a convict. They tell him to vacate the area. When the guys arrive, Case tells them to leave as there won't be any more coaching. Justin shows up and says he's decided to join the tournament. Tim gets an idea, and finds an empty building for them to train in. Zach tells them to start prepping, and goes to get some equipment from his previous gym. They call Case to the location, as Max unrolls a sign saying Case Walker's Combat Club. Case walks in and is very impressed, and soon they begin training. One day, the guys show up for training, and see Case fighting with Lyoto Machida. Case was at the top of the MMA game six years ago, but he disappeared. Tim says he spent two years in prison, and got out on probation. Later, the guys are discussing the possible reasons for Case's imprisonment, but Mike and Justin butt heads. Case arrives and tells them to fight in the cage, they do, and Justin manages to get Mike into a hold. Mike doesn't tap, and passes out. Later, Eve, Zach's girlfriend comes to check up on Mike. We then see that while training, Case asks Zach what's wrong with his eye, and Zach tells him. Case doesn't stop training him, saying that it's his decision to fight and live with the consequences. In another scene, Case trains Mike, and advises him to control his anger, to control the fight. Some time passes as the guys continue to train, and as Zach starts getting more attention from girls, he breaks it off with Eve, and decides to quit the breakdown. Justin on the other hand, goes to visit the guys who beat him up, and gets his revenge on them by going completely berserk. Afterwards, covered in blood, he goes to Case to thank him, but Case tells him to leave, because he doesn't want to be in trouble with the police. Meanwhile, Mike and Eve finally get together. As Max and his team begin to set up the stage for the tournament, he goes to visit Case, who tells him that Zack dropped out. He and Max begin talking, and we get to know how Case followed in his father's footsteps to become a fighter, but after his family died in the Katarina flood, he lost himself. He got into a fight at a club and got arrested. Max tells him that he believes his parents are always watching him. As Max gets into his car to leave, two cop cars turn up and search Case's trailer. They plant a gun, and begin to arrest him, but Case fights back and beats all the cops. Max records everything and gets Case to a police station. There he Tim Mike and Zach wait, as the lawyer comes to tell them that the gun has prints of a Justin Epstein. Meaning that Justin was the one who got Case in trouble. They decide to go to the breakdown and kick Justin's ass. The tournament finally begins, as Max takes the spotlight. One by one, the fights begin, with all four of our characters winning all of their matches, including Zach, who decided to jump back in to get back at Justin. Tim beats his opponent in the quickest fight ever, and gets a lot of praise. Backstage, Justin keeps trying to rile Mike up, but he keeps his cool. The fights continue, until Mike and Zach reach the semifinals. They go on backing each other up, their focus on getting to Justin. Mike defeats Zach with an anaconda choke, while Justin injures Tim's knee in the toilet with a metal bar, thus eliminating him from the tournament. Mike engages Justin in a grueling match, until he wins, by breaking Justin's right shoulder via an Amaplata submission hold. Justin attempts to retaliate by jumping Mike from behind, but Mike counters with a Superman punch to the face. As Mike and his girlfriend Eve celebrate his win, he finally calls his father, and asks him out to dinner, because they have a lot to talk about. Case gets a call from Big John McCarthy, and confirms his return to MMA. The End Thank you for watching. 
subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.